Exhale, twist round, look left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist round. Woo! Look right. It's okay if you wobble. Inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale. We're going to interlace those fingers and just play with stepping in to your warrior three. It's okay if you know, you're wobbling around, you're not finding that balance today. Just keep playing with it. But keep that sense of core engagement. Butts engaged, pelvic floors engaged, abs are engaged. Eventually finding your warrior three, holding and breathing for three. We inhale one, two, three. Inhale, bring that left knee nice and high. Stay here for one, two, three. Option now to clasp underneath that left foot. Right leg is straight and locked down, engaged. Muscles of the right thigh lifting and staying here. Inhale one, two, three. If the option's there, if you kick out with that left foot, draw those elbows down. Breathing one, two, suck those abdominals in. Three, and release. Lovely. Inhale, and exhale. We'll come into our tree pose. Bring that left foot nice and high. But if the balance isn't there today, you can even keep the left toes on the floor, that's okay. But do challenge yourself. Even here in tree pose, sometimes we can sink into this pose. Let's engage that pelvic floor. Hug those abdominals in. Nice and strong. Face relaxed. Now if you really want to challenge yourself, I know that right leg might be aching, maybe close the eyes. Open them again, close them. And gently release. Fall forward, inhale, look forward, exhale, jump back, and then come into a seated position with those legs extended. We're going to do the same thing, but on the other side. So inhale, reach up, lengthen, exhale, little fist by the chest, inhale, exhale, one. And again, just go into your flow. You can make this as fast or as slow as you like. But actually I find it a little bit more challenging if you slow it down slightly so you really find that point of resistance as you lean back. If you want to challenge yourself, you lift those feet. Take your attention inward and see, even with all this vigorous movement, if you can re-engage with those bandits. more. Lovely. Hold, extend one, two, three, four, five. Cross the feet, rolling over, flowing in up dog, down dog. Coming to your downward dog, stretch back, inhale, toes are tucked, look up, exhale, Powering from the core, inhale, exhale, pulling back from the core and the hips. See if you can have a sense of lightness as the body pulls back. So there's hardly any weight on those wrists. Even if it feels like there's a lot, 
mentally just imagine that you're super light and that something or someone's really just lifting you from the hips. So there's an effortlessness in this flow. Remember the banders. Contract the butt, lift up on the pelvic floor, engage those lower abdominals. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, lift that left leg. Exhale, knee to core. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to core. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to core. Step it through. Let's see if my balance is any better on this side. Inhale, reach up, look up, lengthen. Re-engage with the core. Feel that hugging in. Twisting right. Inhale, centre. Twisting left. Let's repeat that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Lovely. Clasp the hands. Inhale, open that chest. Exhale. Playing with coming into your warrior three. Inhale, one. And see if here you can feel as though that right thigh is really hugging into the midline. The left thigh is really hugging into that core as well. Exhale. Bring that right knee up. Just stay here if you like. For one. Two. Three. Option. Clasp the fingers underneath the foot. Staying here for one. As you inhale, suck those abdominals in. Last breath. Exhale, exhale extend that right foot. Breathe one. Two. Three. And release. We'll come into our tree pose on this side now. Ground down. Engage that left leg. Lift that right foot to wherever feels good. You might find that your balance is different on one side. That's okay in time. We'll all balance out. Palms to touch. Again, hug up. Engage that pelvic floor. Tuck that tailbone down. Feel those lower abs, remember that sense of just being poked, just helps to hug everything in. Breathe one, two, three. Play here if you like, close the eyes. One, it's quite scary. I always think I'm gonna fall over and I usually do in the end. Exhale, release. Lovely. Okay, we're going to inhale, reach up. Exhale, fall forward. We're going to play to come into our crow pose now. So it's okay if you've never done this before or you've tried and it's just never worked. That's why we're going to be doing it today. Um, so first of all, spread the fingertips nice and wide and really push down through the palms of the hands. And we're just going to take tiny little jumps. So feet are together and then we're just going to inhale, lift up. Two. Three. Four. Five. And you can really feel how that comes from the core. You really have to engage. Hug that core in and lift up. And that's the same sense that we want here in our crow pose. So, bend the knees. And take them to the insides of the armpits. Bend those arms slightly and then lean the weight forward. And you'll find a point where you feel like, yep, yeah, my upper arms are a little shelf here supporting the knees. Then maybe lift one foot and then the other. Hold one, two, three, 
four, and exhale, shoot those feet back, if it's there, don't worry, if it's not, downward dog, exhale, step hop, or jump the feet forward, so if you're not quite in, in crow pose yet, that's fine, keep trying lifting one foot at a time, then the other foot, keep playing with that sense of lift from the core, I think when I first started doing crow, I used to feel as though my arms had to do all the work and it's actually the core that's really firing up that pose. Um, so let's just do the same thing again. So we'll take the hands nice and flat. Spread the fingers, press down, jump up. One, two, three, four, five. Take those knees to the upper arms, armpits, bend the arms slightly, rock forward. See if you can find that sense of support, that moment where you think, yep, I might be able to balance here. Remember the core, lift up, tuck that tailbone, or lift up on that pelvic floor, maybe lift one leg, then the other. Breathe one, two, three, four, and five, inhale, exhale, drop the knees, child's pose, extend the arms, take the forehead down, take some nice big long deep breaths, inhale, exhale through the mouth, ah, let it go, inhale, exhale, ah, one more, inhale, Exhale. To finish, we're going to come into bridge or wheel, just do whatever feels good for you today. If you're used to practicing wheel, go ahead. Um, if you're not, a nice simple bridge or table pose will be great. In fact, let's all do a little reverse table, fingertips facing in, toes flat, inhale, lift up. Ah, let that head go. One more nice big deep breath here. Coming all the way down onto your back, repeating that pose. Or take the fingertips to face the toes. Palms are almost underneath the shoulders. Walk the feet into the butt. Inhale, lift the hips. Come onto the head and exhale, coming all the way up. Squeeze those elbows together. Exhale. Ah, slowly coming down. Take the feet mat distance apart and then allow both the knees to fall out to the left. Option to place that left foot on the right thigh. You can just take your hands overhead here. Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Make it nice and deep. Inhale. Energize the body. Exhale. Let go. Relax. Engage that core, bring the knees to centre. Exhale, allow the knees to fall to the right. Option to place that right foot on the left thigh. Inhale, breathe deep. Exhale. As you inhale, allow yourself to be filled with a sense of lightness and brightness. Fresh new prana. Exhale, relax, let go. Inhale, breathe deeply. Exhale, relax, let go. Extend both the legs here. Palms face up. Inhale, breathe deeply into the belly. Exhale, let go. 
Inhale, breathe deeply into the chest. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, breathe deeply into the space in between the eyebrows. Exhale, relax the entire face. Feel the weight of the head on the mat. Let the shoulders melt down. Hips are heavy, melting into the mat. Buttocks are relaxed, lower backs relaxed. Inhale, breathe deeply. And exhale, relax more than you ever have. Inhale, breathe deeply. Exhale, let go. We worked really hard today playing around with the, uh, with the banders, with that sense of really lifting up on the pelvic floor. And this is great, not just for core work and balances, but if we can have that sense of engagement from the banders throughout all of our poses, throughout every practice, we'll just be stronger, more present, and get more from it. Inhale, breathe into that space in between the eyebrows. Exhale, relax, let go. Have a peaceful day. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this class. Namaste. Thank you.